Let's take a look at how to test a plywood subfloor for moisture using the MEX-5 both non-destructively and with a pin probe. So to take a non-destructive test on the plywood using the MEX-5, we're gonna turn it on here and we're gonna go into the menu. We're gonna choose non-destructive and then we're gonna choose the wood percentage moisture content. Now, another thing we're gonna to need to do is go into settings here and you see the advanced features are the first option. And this NDT specific gravity, we wanna make sure that's on. So I already had it on, but you can go in here and turn it on or off with this center button. So we're gonna make sure the specific gravity is on so that we can adjust it to the specific gravity of the plywood substrate. So I back, by pressing the menu, I back out of the menu, and now we have the specific gravity feature showing here on the upper right of the screen. We have it set at 0.5 for the plywood, and we apply some pressure and take a reading, and you see I'm about 12.7 there, 12.6. So now, if we wanna take a reading with a pin probe, you see I have it inserted in the plywood here, I'm going to go back into the menu here and I can choose the pin probe option and then first option is building materials. If I choose building materials it'll give me some options here to choose from. So this is a plywood substrate so we're going to choose plywood and then when I connect the probe here it'll go into the plywood setting and you can see our reading at 12.8 so we're within uh, 0.2 of each other uh, from the pin reading to the impedance reading. So we can see that the MEX-5 set in the non-destructive mode on the plywood substrate is giving us equivalent readings as the pin probe set to plywood on the MEX-5. So now you can save a lot of time doing non-destructive moisture testing on your plywood substrate and more quickly be able to determine if the substrate is ready to receive a floor covering.